Hey gang, we so tantalizingly taunted you with the button last episode, let's push it and find out what happens. Yeah, I know, it's not really the same caliber of cliffhanger as some of those recent Danganronpa ones, but... Oh, wait. There's nothing visible on the slab, what do you think we should do? Uh, push the button? Yeah. No! Oh. The switch didn't work! And the button didn't work! Ah! Our cliffhanger has failed! That's odd. Is it broken, or could there be another step to this mechanism? Yeah, we'll we gotta just... get power to it or something. I'll just go wander up this way. Okay, thank goodness that would work! <laughs> I admit to having been just ever so slightly worried. Hey! There's a stone slab here too, but there's nothing legible inscribed on its surface. Sounds pretty useless to me! What do you want to do, Joker? Smash it with the hammer? Actually, I kind of do. I was going to say, take the affirmative choice when presented. <laughs> Aha! Uh, okay. Ooh, it's shining! Pretty! Hmm, the devices controlling the murals seem to react in a similar fashion. Hey, look at this! Something showed up! It says B01010! I don't smell that bad! <laughs> <laughs> That's some serious B101010, huh? <laughs> That may be a clue of some sort. Either way, we should search to see if anything has changed. No, no, no. We just gotta turn it upside down and it'll spell out Ooyweeb. Ah, Ooyweeb. <laughs> Wait. What the? Uh. Oh. So this thing's linked to the stone slab is what powers it. Quite the impressive contraption. As always, I recommend we examine it closer. That makes far too much sense to make sense. Just about everything Yusuke says is, let's look closer. Let's take a closer <laughs> look. Let's examine. Let's survey. Let's observe. Let's behold. Is it is it just going to be entering the entering the password? Mm. No control panel. So there's control panels. Some of there. Okay. Blue one zero one zero. Yeah. I mean, zero one zero one zero one. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever I'm saying, I understand how it works. Okay, so blue. Right. So this is zero. Hey. Ah. Yeah. Ah, because yeah, zero is off and one is on. Ooh, we're in a computer game. We figured this out. We're fine. <laughs> we're in a computer dungeon, so that means we get to use binary. Of course, it's very simple, just like every other puzzle we run across. That's okay. Yeah, I, mean, I know, but... Like, sometimes I want to use my brain, you know? Well, that's what the battle's for for in hard. I suppose so. Now the button should work. Is that how it works? Mm, it's lit up. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey hit the button. Same color and everything. Yes! Hooray! The door opened for some reason completely unrelated to our current activities. <laughs> I don't understand the solution. I'm with Jan. I suppose this is the first step in this process. The next device must be beyond this point. Let us go and examine beyond this point. <laughs> By the way, what's up with these things? Are they all because of Futaba-chan's mental state? Y yes. Well, it's Isn't hard... that by definition true? Well, it's hard to say, but it does prove that she might not be as simple a target as we were hoping she'd be. I wonder about the meaning behind that stone slab as well. Wait. Hey, a pass open now. Can we just keep going? All this talky talk making my head hurt. Shut up! <laughs> I like how I turned and chased yeah. him off the screen, too. That was pretty awesome. So, okay. the It makes perfect sense. I mean, she's a programmer, she's right. a hacker. Right, So this, she clearly values the things that are close to her. The things, I mean, since, since she at present rejects nearly everything, the things that she does not reject are important, and this is something that she genuinely likes. Yeah. It's like, if it weren't for this... I like I'm having to stalk this guy. If it weren't, if it weren't for, like, computers... Uh-huh. She might not have been able to make it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But she had something that she really loved. Mm -hmm. I imagine the sanctuary, the chamber of sanctuary is going to be like all matrixy or something. I kinda hope so. Show me your true form. 
Do you remember when we got ambushed by enemies? Some time ago, yeah. But I don't want to really talk about it in case we... In case I put my own foot in my mouth, and then we get ambushed. Just don't put your foot in my mouth. That's just not acceptable. <laughs> oh, this should be the big one. Oh, this yes. Is, this is slab, anyway. That's true. That's true. Because there's more sarcophagi for us to inter interact with. Hey. Okay, stone slab. Touching this one will probably activate it too. What do you want to do, Joker? Uh, touch it. Why would I say no? Right? Ah, now it's okay. red. So now we go back and we do the... Woo, it's a lamp now. Just like Christmas. I mean, like we were expecting. There are red inscriptions on there this time. They say R01100 and B10011. Okay. So... 01100 and, and 10011. They're just opposite each other. Oh, that's a good point. So it's really just... Like, one of them only has, like, the first one's a zero, and then two ones. And then, yeah. And then the other one's just opposite that. Yes. Okay, and it's red that's got the two. Okay, got it. Cool. And then that's going to change the function of the button over there. Yeah. Uh, the original button. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the red one had the first one deactivated and the last two deactivated. Right. Whoa, what's going on? This is a stronger reaction than anything else up to this point. Guys, look! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Are those giant boulders rolling down the corridor? It must be all of them! Hey, that means we could have waited it out if we just would have kept getting them to come! <laughs> come on, man. Dude, they ain't stopping. Is this going to be okay? Uh... Let's push it again. Uh, may as well? Oh yes! God. That was the right call! Oh, that only made it worse. Except, aren't we trying to get him to run out? This, Will it? This won't destroy the palace. Right? We do something! <laughs> it's like I always say, when in doubt, break shit. I think it stopped. There must be some sort of deep symbolism here, but I'll be darned if I know what it is. <laughs> tell me. Is this what the slab could have meant by form a path? Hey, there you go. Y yes, we knew that all along. Nah, nah. Go through the hole. Oh, I guess you should go up there. Oh, I see. Ta-da! God damn, talk about a mess. It's broken. Well... I guess it would be a little more precise to say we broke it. Hey. Well, we can't get through like this. What are we going to do? Perhaps we could walk over the giant boulders? Let's try it. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's kind of fun. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, I wanted to keep going. But you can't drop down? Oh, I see. I see. That's how you do it. Well, that was actually a fun puzzle. Yeah. It was, like, generally more involved than uh, a lot of the others have been so far. Uh-huh. I mean, somewhere. it's still really simple, but it was interesting, at least. And that's, right. that's ultimately somewhere. all I really want. If I wanted interesting to, puzzles? If I wanted to play, a, like, engaging ones. Yeah. Though I do See. wish that, although I'm a big fan of party dialogue, I do wish that the characters wouldn't just babble on incessantly about how they don't understand exactly what's going on. Right. It's like, let it, just let the player think a little bit. Yeah. And sure enough, the light shining into Futaba's heart presses ever onward. Ah, oh, so poetic. <laughs> That's what I think about it. Yeah, it's always good to bring me down anytime this happens. <laughs> this is the same mechanism as the one we saw before. Then we just gotta touch it and make something happen, yeah? Come on, let's try it out. I promise not to sass you. Oh, hey, it came on. This one's kind of hard to tell, though. Oh, not, no, it looks not pretty, really. pretty obvious. Oh, that's terrible. And, and, like, the hieroglyphic style, it's really visually interesting, like, modern hieroglyphics, you right? know? Kind of morbid. Uh huh. I mean, Jesus. Man, what that's... in the world does 
Like, look at her! She's all, like, discolored and stuff! Hmm... That couldn't just be a... I mean, it, it's gotta be more than just a simple memory because of the way she looks. Like, you would... Maybe, maybe Futaba is saying that everyone outside of herself... Like, she doesn't quite understand them. That's why, like, Futaba's coloration is normal. I see. But other people are, or like... like bird people? Yeah, like, strange-looking. Even her own mother is discolored like this. That could just be because she's dead, too. Like, she looks kind of corpse-ish. Yeah, I was trying to tell if maybe she was, that was the moment she was being hit, but you might be right. Hmm... Is she jumping in front of a car? Ah, that's why she blames herself. Because she jumped in front of the car to save Futaba. And it was probably oh, Futaba's own actual mistake. I see. And that's why she got blamed and why she especially can't not blame herself. Because she would have actually made the mistake of going out in the crosswalk or whatever. I see. And, the, and so her actions did directly cause her mother to take the actions that... Well, that means that her mother did love her, though. Yeah. Of course you would blame yourself... How on earth could you ever move on from that? Right. Like, knowing that, like, when it comes down to it, you made a mistake and that's what that's what happened. But es Yeah, es well, especially with all the metaverse nonsense going on that's affecting her directly. But it's like, especially after that, mm -hmm. you, you have to be able to move on or, I mean, your life is over. Yeah. And that's, Don't worry, that, we're here! That's not what her mother would have wanted. Her mother, regardless of Futaba's actions, her mother Wakaba jumped out to save Futaba's life. Yeah. Not to end it. Right. You know? Like, yeah, yeah, that's the, a good point. Yeah, the feeling of the feeling of the person who saved her in the circumstance is, is, she is wants, like out of, out of... She wants Futaba to move on. To live. Right. So but what, if Futaba kills herself, that would be betraying the wishes of her mother. Right, so we're assuming that the that based on what we saw, that the boss is going to be Wakaba Ishiki. Right, like or at the, least like her Futaba's twisted memory Futaba's cognition, yeah. of, of, like her twisted cognition of her mother. Yeah. That she... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> got this figured out. Could this be the moment when Futaba's mother committed suicide? But... Maybe Futaba never told anyone she jumped out to save her, and that's why everyone thought it was suicide. Because she was embarrassed? Ash not not embarrassed, ashamed. ashamed. Ashamed, okay. We may be wrong, but... I mean, doesn't all that fit so neatly? Huh? Another voice. Futaba! You are... My beloved daughter. That's what or something was, like that, that yeah. Was, that was what she was trying to say. She died right in front of Futaba's eyes. That's horrible. So did her desire to forget those memories cause her to repress them? Ah, I hadn't thought about that, that she was just straight up repressing what actually happened. Well, isn't that, isn't, isn't that normal in a trauma? It is. To actively repress? It is. I just hadn't thought about it. Yeah. I mean, neither had I. Next door! All right, it opened! That was a breeze! We're pretty far in now, right? It has to be past halfway. Why, just a few minutes ago, it seemed like we were moaning about not being halfway yet. Yeah, the treasure is definitely close. You better be excited. I'm still kind of concerned as for what the treasure is going to be. Well, we'll find out what it's going to be uh, when we take it, really. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I hadn't put any thought into that. I wonder what it's going to be. I mean... Because we're probably not going to haul her mother out of frickin' No! Planet, right? I mean, come on! Maybe it'll be some keepsake. Probably. Like a keepsake probably. of her mother. Like we can rest here. I'm really looking forward to taking a screenshot of this so we can really look at, at this awful <laughs> room. Look, the main thing she's got to do is take out all the garbage! Right? Or at least let Sojiro do it. I'm sure he'd be happy to. Like, what's that? You'll let me in your room to get the garbage? Excellent progress! Hmm. Oh my! There is yet another it's door! It's door, dude! <laughs> How scandalous! I don't know, I just like saying that lately. So this is the Chamber of Sanctuary. 
Oh my. Huh, and one of them is under construction. Yeah. So what does that mean? Oh, maybe that means she's continuing to erect, like, the monuments in her heart. Well, like, we're not even really sure what these represent yet. Right, but I mean, if, you, if we just assume, which this may not be accurate, right. if we just assume that, that it's that everything in here mm -hmm. is sort of part of the barrier, uh -huh, uh -huh. then it's like she's just actively piling Still it on constantly top of the, yeah, of the barrier. Yeah. Or perhaps it's showing, perhaps stuff like this could represent like the value of some of the things that she has yeah. in her heart. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, anyway, what wonderful form. Seeing such divine sculptures in person is exceedingly rare. Yeah, I guess you probably wouldn't be seeing anything like this shit if we weren't in a palace. Seriously, this almost feels like a trip abroad or something. To Morocco, right? Well, this is a young girl's palace. Hey, now's not the time to be letting your guard down talking about stupid crap. I can sense <laughs> lots of shadows up ahead. <laughs> Why you got to bust my balls like that? Boo, 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 you can't get me. Boo, 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 you can't get me. You stupid, I got you. <laughs> Yeah, after that, of course, it's an Anubis. <laughs> right? I really like how Satana looks. I do, too. Um, his, like, padded armor looks pretty stylish in his scarf. Yeah, I remember Satanta from 4 and just, like, really liking really liking the way he looked mm -hmm. and using him, like, as a main persona for a while, but just because of that. Right. I mean... Maybe it's not quite in the spirit of, of, of the whole Persona thing, but I do prefer Personas to be people. Yeah, yeah. Certainly not like balls of faces. <laughs> or giant flying penises. Well, I wasn't going to mention that. I mean, if she's getting ambient aid, then she definitely needs to have Dormina back. I mean, I would I have think you mean ambient aid. So it's like you're just reaching out your arms and swinging them wildly, and everything you, you that's in range, you just grab it and like take it and beat it, and just beat it to death over and over again. <laughs> that's a pretty adept description, actually. <laughs> you know, I've noticed that there's an awful lot of green, which is like the color of Medjed. Yeah, that's true. We. I mean, we've already kind of theorized that either she's a part of it or connected in some way to him. It does seem like that just makes it seem like she's more connected. Seem, 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 seem. Seem, 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 seem. seem. Yeah. You can see it at the seams. Time to hit up a tailor. Hmm. Giant hole. Whoa, this is deep. What the heck is this? Well, it's not a distance we'll be able to jump either. What should we do? Well, I think the best plan is to throw Mona down to see how deep it is. Come here and try it. <laughs> Dude, I am five times your size. You're mine. Ooh, looking cool, Mind control? Mind control! <laughs> what the heck was that laugh? Out of our way. Frankly, we've made a lot more headway if we didn't have to keep You're dealing with Anubis. Worse. I, yeah, it does seem like maybe 20% of the time we've been here so far we've has been, yeah, just fighting been fighting Anubis. Uh, <laughs> at least it poses no threat. That's true. Or rather, it poses an extreme threat, just one we've already uh, figured out how to deal with. Right. Man, you know, I really do like that in this game, status effects are really useful, because there's been a lot of RPGs I've played in which they're not. They're pretty much older RPGs. These days, status ailments are usually good. I mean... Oh, yeah. Man, I'm starting to not even pay attention. Oh, God. I mean, I suppose the last RPG that I played for status status effects weren't good was uh -huh. Cold Steel 2. Yeah. Cold Steel 1, they were absurdly good, and you could build a team around them, but Cold Steel 2, everything was like... Immune? Yeah, like... Or had really high resistance? Yeah, it's like everything was only 10% effective, so you couldn't really count on it or yeah. make a build for it. God forbid trying to hit a boss with the status. Whereas in Cold Steel 1, if you hit a, bo if you hit a boss with burn, then you'd, like, almost be able to beat him in, like, three turns. Yeah. Now he's been inflicted with sleep forever! Man, 
and because of that dumb joke, I didn't get no liquid mercury. That's I made the joke after it gave you the reward, so you can't blame it on me. Now let's keep going. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, those are spears, and they're sticking to you. Curses foiled again. I'll make you pay for your crimes. Okay, that totally didn't work. Okay. That's a type of sword. Yep, you said foil. God dang it! <laughs> now, I'm going to assume this button will help me get that chest. Right? What do you mean active traps? There was freaking spears blocking us from a, from a chest. From a machest? From a machest. Is that like a machomp or a machamp? Yes. It's what the machamp beats whenever he wants to assert his dominance. Yeah, we're just gonna stop this. <laughs> ah, this gear is dust crusted. That's fun to say, dust crust? Dust crust, yeah. yeah. It's like in Mega Man 4, there was the dust buster. Oh, is that what it was called? I thought it was called the dust crusher. Maybe it was, but dust buster sounds better, doesn't it? It does, yeah, but then there's the mega buster. Doesn't that seem kind of redundant? Your face is redundant. I have something. Well, I suppose as a, uh... Mostly symmetrical human being. I mean, yeah, we're not all perfectly symmetrical, but I, uh, I'm just gonna hey. stop here. Yeah, what are we talking about? Here's another button. Let's push it. Push all the buttons. Hey, we solved the puzzle. Serves you right. Well, it all worked in the end anyway. Yeah. I am under the impression that what I am doing is causing me to look cool. I have no idea where we've gotten that implication. You look stupid. <laughs> ah, oh, oh god! That's not good at all. What does this mean? This is strange. Hmm. This coffin has a different design than the others. Does it not make you wonder why? That is odd. Why don't we check it out? No, I don't check out things. Whoa. Of course it's a button! Whoa, I can't believe you guys were so smart! Ooh, that's gotta be a secret button or something. Yeah, hit the button. Oh! That's oh, the best button! My god. It made a small... Oh. It made another button appear in another room. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. There's a button! Wonder how many more of these we get to chase down. All of them! Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, that is pretty awesome. Oh, good. Another one of these. Are we gonna get cursed? What does that mean? Oh. Maybe maybe we'll walk out and like eight enemies will appear. Oh, God. That'd be kind of bad, actually. Eight Anubises. Yeah, I'll I'll be dead. There, there will be a loss of life involved. Ah, but it's just a sanctuary gem, not the... Uh... You were spot on. I mean, only one enemy, but you know. Right. Show me your true form. I like how you can run up far enough to ambush them from the front. <laughs> like, are you even trying? Hey. Hey, I've seen this thing before. You know what it is. Yeah. Gotta okay. put the gem in it. Come on, let's go. Why waste time? Right. Oh, cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. What immense power! <laughs> this pathway of light! Eh, why would it do that, though? I can understand Being that scared concern. By yeah, 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 no, that makes a lot of sense. And then we just cross. Woof! No, I'm just kidding. That would really suck. So there's not too much more on our map. It's possible that there might not be a second map and that the next area is just the area where the treasure is. Yeah, like, normally the treasure room shows up... Oh! Bad dog! Well, that was a good job guarding, dog. <laughs> I was staring at the door when you opened it. I mean, how dumb do you think I am? Wolf. Well, compared to everybody else... I'm like, a good boy. He... he ha <laughs> yeah, his reaction was awfully good. Fido? Fido, are you there? I thought I heard something. Where is my beloved dog gone? These, they just, like, sadly amble... Ahem. They just sadly amble around. Forget it, I'm just gonna run up and... Oh, darn it! 
failure. Oh no. That one's strong. Okay. I don't advise fighting it, Morgana said. Right? M Morgana, where have you been? Ow! Well, things are just going along just great. I mean, just great. Oh, it's just minor setbacks, and you know it. I know, I know. But I'm not the one playing, so I get to be facetious. Your face is facetious. My face is facetious. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that was it right there. Gush! That was satisfying. Oh my god, a safe room in a sort of sensible spot. Little by little, the dungeon becomes the same as all the others. <laughs> I know. But hey, you notice we haven't hit her distortion yet. Unless the pyramid is her distortion. We'll find out. Yeah. You got it. I mean, Morgana says it's not that much farther. Indeed. To the treasure. Although, wouldn't it make sense if the distortion was just the room where the treasure is? Closed in okay. like her? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I can't really change the party around anymore. Why not? Because if I run into an Anubis... Oh, right. I, I kind of need this party. I mean, I could, I could put it on for Morgana... I'm not even sure I could put in Yusuke for Buji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to have Buji. I have to have the slowest guy or I can't fight Anubis. <laughs> oh! Wait up! Look! There she is! It'd suck if we had to go through hell again because we walked up to her without thinking first. Buji! Was that caution and wisdom? So what's your call? You want to keep going? It's almost like I'm warning you like the story's about to advance or something. Yeah, I mean, there's a safe room right over there. Yeah. Madness. Let's do it. Okay. You're late. I thought all of you had died. It's your fault, not ours, but don't worry about that part. We almost did thanks to you. I mean, do you really want to help us? Make up your goddamn mind. I'm not sure. There's not much left at this point, though. Uh... Oh, not again. This is all because you picked on her skull. Well, I do have a way with the ladies. Oh, no. Your short temper has created an opportunity for vengeance against oh, the previous right. foe for us. This is my fault? Yes, good job. I didn't even bring my megaphone. Who dares intrude upon the peace of this holy ground? This is the Pharaoh's tomb. None may disturb her slumber. Mm, we can't retreat now. We'll just have to do this. Eat wind and die, Mott. Right? Not even messing around. Revenge. Okay. Eat this. I mean, not really you specifically, but mainly just to knock everyone down. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. But it's not going to be nearly so bad this right, time. Right, because we can keep knocking him down. Like, over and over and over and over again. Uh-huh. I love how everything in this dungeon is weak to win. <laughs> You're like, right. Morgana is just wonderful here. Just hit him as hard as you can. Swift strike, hell. Yeah, I can do it once. Oh, because of your hit point. He's yeah. also pretty defensive, too. I mean, I'm not going to be able to take him out before his next turn. Right. Just almost. We'll just have to pick on back up. And, and Ryuji. I think Ryuji's going to go down, to be honest. Oh, right, right. Oh, oh. thanks! Nope, never mind! Oh, no! Oh. Oh, Damon. <laughs> it goes before the fall. <laughs> we're actually in trouble, I suppose. No, we're fine. Okay, okay. Don't miss this time. 
I kind of half wanted the mouse to be in the all-out attack. Well, you knew it wouldn't be. Like, not even, not, not effective, just like as part of the all-out attack. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. Oh, that felt nice. Oh, man, we just crushed it. It helped that he hadn't used Megiddo yet. <laughs> it was like it summoned so many times, uh -huh. and then it started spamming Megiddo. Yeah. So this time it had to get through all those summons. But it didn't live long enough. Oh, thank God, Mediorama! <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! The hell's up with her? Can you just try to calm down? Nothing good will come of letting your temper flare up like that. M Makoto? Should you be the person to say that? <laughs> well, I mean, normally she's calm. She did say there's not much left, though. The end of this palace may be drawing close. Woo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo! Yeah, yeah. Time to save! No place to go but up. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. I just, it just looked like that was the only way you could, you could go by jumping up there. Right? Oh my god! This is just candy! This is ridiculous how often we run into this. Well, as we have learned from our unfortunate game overs in the past, uh, -huh. uh in, in the Madarame Palace, um, it's like the different, the, the different breakable things you can hit seem to have, each of them have like specific chances, it seems like. Well, we've hit it three times now. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm assuming that means that it's pretty common here. Ah, oh, I see. Well, we'll just take the money and XP thing. It costs about as much to summon as you earn from beating it. That makes sense. That's a lot of money. I mean, and not for of... us, but... That was an easy win. Let's go, Joker. Hey, that amount of money that we have can run out. And so we just have to keep topping it off. I mean, <laughs> the next time we're in Mementos, I'll probably see if I can't squeak out like another million or two. Which, compared to eight, is really not that much. Right? Ah, see, we did need to go over here. Yes, yes, take Jim. Same business. What? Oh. <laughs> that was me, that was me, that was me. Uh oh! Uh oh! oh. What? Uh, uh, I think me Patra can cure despair. Uh. <laughs> nope, it doesn't cure despair. Because there's no way we can have Joker be despaired. Oh, uh, yeah, no, this is terrible. I mean, without Gito, we can't swap out party members. And all of our coverage is gone. Yeah, and we can't take out... Well, who cares about our coverage? It's just we... Own, they're weak to ice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, in this specific case, we can't actually stop them. There we go. I knew I bought a whole bunch of all the different status recovery items for a reason. It's time for a refreshing lollipop. Oh, joy. No holds barred. Man, I very nearly had a heart attack there, but I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Right? Alternately, we'll just have dealt with them all anyway. <laughs> I mean, they're just Lamia, let's be serious. Good job, guys. <laughs> Does Makoto's energy shower cure despair? I think it might. Yep. yep. I love I love how you're so determined to get May Patra to cure something, but it never comes up. Right? I mean, we don't even know what hunger is. Well, I've got a pretty idea. For instance, like a pretty good idea. I'm kind of hungry now. No, no, that's not what I... I suppose that's on me. You can't ever complain about anything. Not after what you've put us all through! <laughs> and then this will create another bridge of light. Right. You know, I've seen this sort of thing with, like, the light that has to go through the whole palace uh -huh. in... In like several other games, and I can only remember one of them right now. But huh. in any case, it's actually really cool every time. Yeah. I feel it. I have to expect there, there to be an enemy just right around the corner watching that pot. Yeah, I, I kind of did too. 
Uh, it was Saga Frontier for the Curious. I can feel it. The Sun Trial. That makes sense. Luminous. Luminous Labyrinth? I, heck, I don't know. Who cares? I really like that game, though. We're going to have to make a big old batch of lock picks when we get out of here. We still got three. That's true. You know, thinking about it, let's take a look at our progress. Uh, six aluminum sheets and two liquid mercury. <laughs> Not much progress. There is no way I am fighting enough Anubis to get all that liquid mercury here. No <laughs> freaking way. Mm. Now, this is interesting. Yeah. It's kind of like bouncing all around the statue. Is the statue her mother? No. No, that's a dude. Just a statue. Well, that, that's fine. Jump down? Yeah, I, I think I, you want to. I really don't want to have to do that. That would because really? all the all the enemies are back after That's fighting right. the mini boss. This is really cool. Okay, here's where the last mural is, maybe. Well, since since there's not a safe room, there must be just ever so slightly more. Yeah. I have really enjoyed this palace. Me too. There's more meat to it, and it's not. It hasn't been annoying. I'm right. not saying that like the dungeons are annoying. Quite, quite the opposite. But trying to get through them in one go mm -hmm. because of time yeah. does mean that they'll kind of grate on you. A yeah, bit. but not this one. Not this one hasn't at all. So it's been very fun all throughout. And a lot of that has got to be due to this rock and music. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, I already downloaded it and have listened to it a great deal because it's very relaxing. Yeah. I had a feeling we'd find another one of these things. Rule of threes and all that. There's only one thing for us to do. We must solve the puzzle. Okay, so the le the first one was the lawyers. Yeah, the second one was her mother throwing herself in front of the car. Hey. So is this going to be her, like, locked away in a room, perhaps? Or, this like, is the a chamber of sanctuary, after all. Ah, yes, okay, okay. The mural should display in the front wall now, right? I'd expect so, Joker, if you please. Wait, what? I can't even begin to tell what this one is. It, it just like we said. It may be a rather difficult puzzle for us to solve. It, it really is her in the room. Yeah. Cool. Ta-da! Hooray! I wonder what it means. Okay. She can't let go of her mother? Yeah, she's pleading for her mother to stay. She can't let go, which yeah. is the perfect thing. At first we were thinking it was Futaba's room, but I don't think it is, because it's just like a small desk and things are on a... Yeah. Like to the left would be Futaba's, and here she's viewing herself very much as a child. Yeah, as much opposed smaller, to... yeah. Yeah, okay. A child pulling on her mother's clothes. Mom. Oh. More voices. I'm... I'm tired of eating dinner alone all the time. It's always just convenience store bentos. I want to go somewhere. Take me on a trip. This is what caused him to be in the situation where her mother got hit. Yep. Kind of like it's the whole Batman. So it's even more so, air quotes, her fault. Yeah, yeah. Because she was the one who, who forced it to happen. That, and so it's like all of that together. She's the one who begged her mom to take her on the trip where she ended up doing something stupid, or maybe uh, it was an accident. Yeah. But that's what caused her mother to die. Yeah. So she, she just blames herself, but... <sighs> it's sad, is what it is. Mm -hmm. The one clinging to her mother would be Futaba-chan, right? Don't, Don't be, be so selfish. selfish. You, you know, know I'm working, working hard to support you, right? Ah. Uh. Hmm... Well, even if she was frustrated due to her own life, it's you know, not like it's not like she doubted for a moment right, that she loved her daughter. Because she seemed to have thrown herself in front of a car for her. Yeah. Yeah. She seemed pretty angry. Is that the maternity neurosis the voice from earlier mentioned? What? Oh, yeah. Thinking about it like that, we've sort of forgotten that, that she had... Mental shutdown or the... The psychotic breakdown. Whichever one it is. I thought it was pretty normal for a child to want to spend time with their parents, though. And again. Yeah, it looks like Futaba was a pretty lonely kid growing up. So, these incidents compounded, forcing her mother to suicide? I must die. 
Huh? I killed her. That's why I'm here in this tomb. You know, thinking about it like that, you know, she did have the shutdown. Mm -hmm. Didn't she... So how... And, and she was said to have committed suicide, so she must have... Well... That could just be what they assumed based on the circumstances. Yeah, because there's... Because Futaba didn't tell them that she was... Maybe. There's just... It's just that, like, that flinging in front of a car, maybe it wasn't to protect Futaba after all. Ugh. And was just suicide, but it... Hmm. Yeah, we might be misinterpreting the mural. Because then seeing seeing this, that you can see that there's sufficient information or reason for uh, Futaba to blame herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm sure that what it actually is is probably going to be a lot more tragic than mm -hmm. than can really be effectively predicted. Don't say that. I will die. Futaba-chan. Why'd she get so quiet all of a sudden? What happened to that snarky personality? Could her heart perhaps be growing weaker? We have to hurry and save her. Seriously. Well, Here it is. This is it. It's open, but what's this? Yeah, and no wonder the treasure room is so small. It's her room. Yeah. Her room is very small. Yeah. I'm sure she loves her room. Right. Maybe she hates it. I don't know. I wonder if her room is her treasure. Nah, yeah. probably not. <laughs> Do you see the ASCII face on it? Yes, and that is glorious. Uh, hey, this ain't opening. Think there's a way to open it somewhere else? Gotta send the card for this. Because even if she yeah. wants to, she doesn't know how. Yeah. Hmm. This door... Maybe we could build, like, a big wooden horse to get in. That's what I hear about all the time. People sending Trojans into their computers. That was kind of complex. <laughs> I'm the best at Google. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't funny at all, but that was really complex. <laughs> it looks familiar. Almost like a sign. Oh, Futaba's room. That's it. Why ain't it opening? It must be her cognition that no one can enter it. I mean, she won't let Sojino in. Yeah. I'm surprised that you made it this far. She even chased Morgana out. Mm -hmm. I mean, mind you, I'd probably be kind of weirded out if a strange cat appeared in my room, but I'd also be like... Kitty! Yeah, but that that's me. Beyond lies the Pharaoh's chamber. Mm, and her mother is the Pharaoh. Yeah, I guess. So the treasure's still here? Indeed. However, you need my permission to open this door. Then open it for us! I cannot. You must have her invite you in. Okay. Okay, so that's how this works. Like we had talked about earlier, she's ceded control of her palace to her own memory of her mother. Yeah, yeah. What the F? Ain't this your palace? So the calling card needs to be addressed not to Futaba... But to her mother. But to Wakaba Ishiki. Yeah. Huh. What's she mean, Mona? The shadow is Futaba, but not Futaba herself. I mean, ultimately it is Futaba. Right. But that's not but how But it's she's... not the shadow's cognition that affects the real world. It's the real cognition that affects the metaverse. Except her mother appears to be manifesting That's a different somehow, circumstance. Yeah, yes. <laughs> In other words, we need the real Futaba's permission. So we need to have Futaba-chan open her room and let us in? Or that, yeah. Considering that you made it all the way here, you may be able to do it. I mean, I hadn't thought about it like that, but that's obviously the treasure room. Yeah. So it's not like this is just opening a door to, right. to just move on. Oh, this is going to be great. Maybe instead of having to do the calling card to her mom, which is... A little weird. Yeah. Instead, it's just going over to going over to Futaba's house and being like, "We're almost done. All you have to do is let us in." Yeah, yeah. And I guess it'll work kind of like the calling card scene in terms of the time that it takes. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Looks like we'll have to return to reality once. But I remember Boss saying that she won't let anyone in. You're gonna have to do a lot of convincing. Uh huh. Right. She's a serious shut-in. I mean, the the part that makes it 
possible is that she reached out to the Phantom Thieves right. and asked them to do this. Yes. If it weren't for that, this would never work. Oh, yeah. How will we convince her to allow us entry? Standing around here won't help. We'll just have to give it a try. <laughs> uh, housekeeping! <laughs> yeah, that won't work. You seriously need it! <laughs> <laughs> that won't work in a million years. That's what she wants, yeah. after all. I think that we should do it too, even if it means we have to force ourselves in. That's yeah, I guess probably, that would work. probably worth it. Because if they do force themselves in, that still creates the impression that other people can get in. Yeah. That's you, what we're... Like, the thieves go up and say, yeah. Hey, Futaba, it's us again. Uh, please open the door. She won't do it. It's like, okay, we're almost done. We know this is going to be painful for you, but we must come through this door, and then you'll get what you want. But we have to do it, so yeah. if you can't, then leave it to us, and we'll break this barrier for you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can kind of spin it in a good way. <laughs> Instead of just, like, the thieves breaking into somebody's room. <laughs> right? Someone sure is stoked about this. Hmm. We have no choice but to sneak in again. Joker, it's your call when we do this. Yeah, so it's the equivalent of the calling card. Make sure you think of some excuses just in case Boss catches us. <laughs> Yeah, I guess... Uh, no, I didn't ask for any housekeeping. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose there's no way to explain to him that we're, in order to help his daughter that we... Breaking into her room! <laughs> ...that we've never met, we have to go into his house and break down her door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can leave your room for the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah, leave it to me. I got this. We're counting on you, leader. <laughs> On that note, is everyone clear on what needs doing? Oh, that reminds me. Give me the calling card. The one Alibaba sent us. What are you going to do with it? Maybe he's going to make a friendly calling card. Huh? We're the Phantom Thieves, you know. We gotta announce this. Not to the public, obviously, but... If the treasure's there when we get the room open, given this tour will let us take it right away. Wow. Queen, help me think of what to write. That's some forethought, Ryuji. Are you okay? No, he's actually really I know, good I know. at this. It's just, he normally, like, hangs back and drools with his <laughs> eyes crossed, <laughs> smashing monsters or whatever. But when it's time for him to actually bother to think, he's really good at it. I know. I mean... <laughs> I suppose. We got this covered. You decide on a good time we barge into a room. That's all you. Not gonna lie, that timing is gonna be entirely based on the amount of time this episode is taken. Aw, uh, yeah. I always look forward to these. Weep, 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 this one weep. isn't gonna be as long as the last one, I guess. Right? Well. Find a safe room, 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 find a safe room. Hooray! Okay, so, if I remember correctly, uh, tomorrow is a special event with Mishima. Uh -huh. Well, there's no point in us doing it, but I do right. want to see it. So we'll a so we'll actually end the episode with this event. But, but then, then we'll reload. But then we're going to reload, so we're not actually going to do it. Right, and right. So we'll start start right. next time by just running right for the boss. Calling cards ready. You didn't waste any time at all, did you? I, I did it on the way out. That was fast. I mean, I already wrote three of them before this. Remember? Anyone? He's got all this experience. I like I like how he's actually like Muji is actually really good with people and really good at understanding people. Uh-huh. It's just he's he's true to himself, you know. <laughs> and he's got this artistic element to him that he's quite good at. Yeah. Like when Muji is like, I wanna do something, then he does. And I just <laughs> I really appreciate that. Didn't Makoto help him write the last one? I think she helped him distribute it. Did she help him? I guess she, I guess she did, yeah. No, she, no, he helped her distribute it. Well, in yeah, any case, this, oh. this is the second palace in a row that the Ryuji Makoto team has taken care of the cards. That's true. I mean. But I came up with almost all of the sentences. You don't gotta mention that! Ah, that's why it was so fast. Smooth, Ryuji. Ha <laughs> ha! The real question here is when we should go to Futaba's room, though I believe the commentator's already... Oh, yes, you, you always yell at me when I say this. Never mind. See? Didn't have to. Well, um, I think our leader should decide, as he decides everything. Look who's the smooth one now! It really should be up to him, though, don't you think? Absolutely. We have no choice but to carry this out. I have no responsibility for anything! 
<laughs> put me in, but put me in the boss party, though. Hey, my memory was right! Uh, this is where I'm supposed to complain about saying who could that be. Who could it possibly be? Oh, it's not me. Well, true to form! <laughs> hey, want to go to Harajuku? As the admin of the fan site, I want to find out what society is thinking because I'm also trying to not address my <laughs> recent problems <laughs> and pretend like nothing happened when I talk to you. There should be a lot of people there since it's summer vacation. It'll be perfect for a survey. You should totally come with me tomorrow. Hi. It's so crowded, just as expected. This is the perfect place to start an investigation. Y yes? Why are we here? With this many people, there has to be gossip around. Maybe even rumors about the Phantom Thieves. I'm curious to know what other people think about them. I think that they're a bunch of robots. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know who's going to wander by. <laughs> we might even find a bad guy or two. Well, just you wait. This is going to be helpful, Nakamura. I can promise you that. That's why I already know that you're going to reload and not do this and that. <laughs> Yo, Jiro. What the hell am I doing here? Fancy running into you here. Oh, Sakamoto. Whoa, Mishima, why are you here? No, no. Took you long enough to notice me? You even barged in when I was trying to text Jito last night. What are you doing out, Sakamoto? Could you be on a date? Don't talk to me about dates. Hell no! I'm looking for workout clothes. Heard they've got a pretty sweet selection here. But some of them are dirty. Then have a funky smell. Those... Those aren't workout clothes, Muji. Do, do you remember? Do you remember when we found the prawn door? Yes. These have a very similar utility, I assume. <laughs> They're probably you. Ew. Well, you guys free? Want to grab a bite? <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't found anything yet because we haven't looked or listened or done anything Just at all. There, yeah. ah, so, what do you think? We can <laughs> investigate the food. We can totally investigate the food. Yeah. As they say, the best way to get familiar with an area is through its food. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I can get behind food. What do you want to eat? Can we get crates? Ugh, no, please. What are you, a chick? <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot all about nice. our investigation. Oh well, who cares? I got to eat a crepe. And we got to reload this day, because next episode, we're gonna get that treasure, or some other witty thing to say to end the episode with. Look, what do you want? <laughs>